Many of the systems in the Tourer require 12 volt power, which is controlled by a switch panel like this one. The first switch allows you to take power from either the sewing vehicle or from the Tourer's own onboard battery. Each of the systems has its own isolator switch, such as the water pump, lighting circuits and auxiliary circuits, and each one is protected by its own fuse underneath. Modern Tourers will have a separate 240 volt switch panel like this one. Its function is to control and distribute 240 volt mains power around the Tourer. This large switch is the main on-off for the incoming supply from your hookup cable. It incorporates an RCD or residual current device to protect you from electric shock. In the event of a short circuit, this switch will automatically turn off the supply as it trips, like this. Once the cause of the fault has been rectified, you can reset the trip by pushing the switch back up to the on position. There is also a test button and we would recommend that you check the operation of the trip each time you hook up. Please note that the trip will not operate unless 240 volt mains is connected. Next to the main power switch are these smaller switches to control and protect the separate 240 volt circuits. These are also of the trip type and will be rated for the load required. For example, this one is a 10 amp for the fan master system. This one is a 6 amp for the fridge and battery charger. Again, they will automatically cut off the supply in the event of a current overload and are reset by switching back up to the on position. One important item to remember about 240 volt power is that the amount of power available from the site post can vary, especially on the continent. Even if your onboard 240 volt equipment has no fault, if you attempt to draw more power from the site post than is available, then the site post itself will trip and cut off your supply. Usually a battery charger is fitted as standard. Most have a straightforward on-off switch, although some are automatic. You will need to ensure that your 12 volt control panel switch, when fitted, is set to Tura or Caravan. The charger will reduce charge to the battery as it becomes fully charged, however we would suggest that leaving your charger on all the time should be avoided, unless it is fully automatic. Using your battery meter will help determine when a recharge is required. Electrical regulations require fitted battery chargers to have a regulated output. This will not give any problem unless you are trying to charge a totally flat battery. The load imposed on the charger will simply be too great and it will switch off or cycle on and off repeatedly. In an emergency, you could consider using the car 12S supply or disconnect the battery, wrap the terminals with tape and use the charger as a transformer to give a limited 12 volt supply from the mains.